Hey guys, welcome to Supercars of London and day one of the vlogs. I hope you guys enjoyed yesterday's video of the GAD tuning challenge. And now I'm in Lyon and we're going to be heading straight to Monaco via Marseille, Cannes and Nice. And we're going to have a fantastic drive along the coast. I'm going to begin the vlogs now and hopefully uh, due to the speed of the internet where we're staying, I'm hoping that these videos can go out the day or half a day later. The vlogs are going to be going live at midday, whereas the supercar videos are going to be going live at 7pm. So there's going to be two videos per day on Supercars of London so I hope you guys um, get involved with all of the Monaco adventures that I'm going to be on and join me on my journey. Now it's time to cold start the car. <laughs> picturesque view out of Lyon. Absolute fail. We're already on the motorway, like two minutes from our hotel on the motorway. I thought we were going to get a nice view of the river, like we did on the way in. Unfortunately, that's not the case. But at least it's a nice sunny day. It's saying 13 degrees and it's only going to get warmer the further south that we go. The best bit about this trip is from Marseille to Monaco. I've done it on the train before and now I'm going to do it on the car. It's just going to be stunning views. So what I'm going to do in this vlog is hopefully not talk that much and just let you guys see what sort of trip we're going to be taking and put you in the passenger seat of this car so you can enjoy it as much as we are. You got anything to say? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Seeing as I've now got Demi on camera, the topic of today's video is mountains and I've been arguing the whole way down whether we're going to see mountains or not. The route that we're taking is down to Marseille and across. And I don't know like the exact height of what a hill needs to be to become a mountain, yeah, but, but in the distance we've got some pretty cool massive mount massive hills. And he's arguing with me that these are just hills and we're gonna turn the camera around when the trees go. Yeah, because the hill doesn't have to be bigger. Mountains are not more bigger than hills. Mountains yeah. aren't bigger than hills. No. They don't have to be. I'm not entirely convinced on that argument. They are too high to be hills. Zoom in on that one up there. That's like nearly as tall as Everest. We've got the trees in the way and we're going downhill, it's not good. <laughs> you see it? Is it on camera? No. So your claim is invalid. The claim is invalid. Let's jump in on an update vlog. Um, it's half past 11, so we've been going two hours now. And we are 200 kilometers away from Nice. It's really hot now, and I wish I had Alcantara seats, the uh, sort of faux suede, purely because this black leather is heating us up. Not only that, I am wearing black, all black, which isn't helping the situation. Pass it here. Yes, you may have seen them on Snapchat, and they match my car. They're the most ridiculous things I've ever, ever owned in terms of sunglasses. And you all know that I don't like wearing sunglasses in this car because it just gives off that perception that I don't want to give off. I don't want to look like someone that wears sunglasses in a supercar. It's so difficult to explain, but hopefully you understand. So far again, and well we both are, we've 
been driving for three hours and averaging 100 and the speed limit, and we've still got we've still got half a tank, and it's telling we've got 150 miles left. Yet we're only 40 miles away from Nice, about 10 minutes away from any sort of coastline. Like it's unbelievable how good this car has been to run with at a constant relatively high speed in terms of like before before Gad Tuning touched this car and we did the London to Edinburgh which Dimmy was there and filmed as well. We were driving at 50 miles an hour to get the MPG that we needed and make it whereas this you could probably drive it at 80 miles an hour and leave, but that's obviously breaking the speed limit in the UK but here we've been driving like more freely should we put at cruise control because the roads are absolutely empty anyway and it's just just eating the miles but not eating the fuel take that view out we're filling up so we've got a full tank when we get to monaco but that's got something special not the mountains i'm talking about the building that's got free wi-fi so i'll get to upload all the pictures <laughs> to instagram we can see the sea and that's a good view we're passing through Nice now. It's time to get our car spotting mode on. I'm quite excited. Made it. We've just got traffic now into central Monaco. The sea. Can't believe it. Is that a FF? Ferrari FF? Good spot. <laughs> so that was fun. The, um, we tried to film it, but the police weren't having any of it. Basically, I'm gonna put my windows up. Basically, there's a couple of policemen that are standing on the border of Monaco, which are obviously stopping people that got English cars because loads of people are going to be coming into Top Marks. They wanted to see my driver's license, my yeah, insurance and things like that, which I have, but it's on my phone because my insurance company send it all to, to uh, my online thing. Because I haven't got it in paper form, I'm not allowed to drive into Monaco. So we're going straight to uh, Seb's house, where Seb lives, obviously. And we're gonna print them off because apparently if they see me driving this car in Monaco without the bits and pieces that I'm supposed to have in paper form, then the car gets taken off me and it's going to the police station. <laughs> so, um, yeah. 
I, th I think I just put on Instagram as well that I was going to be at Casino Square in 10 minutes. That's well, not going to happen. Tempting food there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, yes. Good start to the Monaco trip, getting pulled over by the police and not allowed, being allowed in Monaco. <laughs> We're banned from down there, <laughs> but we've got the hill run here, which is um, a lot of fun. I'll let Dimmy hold it. So we're banned physically, but we're not banned acoustically. 